Hello viewers, uh, in this tutorial uh, we will see how we can train support vector machine on MATLAB. Um, the training procedure of MATLAB is different from the Python. Uh, so uh, in Python we know we can uh, train both uh, binary class or multi class problems uh, with same code or the same procedure but in uh, MATLAB we have to do it in different ways. This tutorial is about uh, training um, uh, a data set uh, that has uh, only two classes. Uh, we can call this a binary classification problem. So for this uh, tutorial, I'll be using the uh, banknote authentication data set. You can download it from Kaggle uh, or you can search it on the Google. So, uh, this dataset has a uh, total 372 entries, uh, 4 features, uh, on the basis of these features we will tell that whether is it an uh, authentic node or it is not an authentic node. So uh, the classes are in numerical form, 0 means it, an, it's, it is an authentic node and 1 means it is not an authentic node. So I have already written the code MATLAB, uh, I'll give it a link to the code, you can download it. So first we have to import the dataset into MATLAB. We know in Python we can just uh, use pandas to import datasets, but here we have to do it manually. Let's go to home and import the data in downloads, choose the CSV file. Here is the data set. Now we have to uh, import this data into our work, uh, workspace. So what will be the output type? Uh, by default it is table but uh, if we choose table we need to again convert it into matrix. So it's better to choose the numeric, uh, numeric matrix uh, in the first place. So I have chosen the matrix format and now let's import it. Okay so you can see now we have the data set imported into uh, matrix format okay. so if we double click on it you can see here are our four features and this is the classes that uh, is going to be predicted so first we will uh, separate the data set into um, the features and the labels the independent variables and the dependent variable so the x levels will be uh, from column 1 to 4 and the Y will be uh, the column 5 In Python we get train test split uh, that enables us uh, directly splitting the data into train and test sets but here we have to do it manually so uh, first I have generated some random numbers uh, that is equal to the number of row and then uh, from, the, from our uh, independent variables I have uh, uh, randomly uh, chosen the values from 1 to uh, 1100 that is 80% of the data for testing purpose uh, both in independent and dependent variables and 20% of the data for uh, test purpose. So now if we run this we get our training and testing sets. Now it's time to uh, build the model and train it. Uh, for training and the model, we will using the fit CSVM function. Uh, this helps us to train support vector machine on a data set that has binary classification problem. So first, we are passing the, our uh, features and our classes. After that, we are using the kernel function RPF. And, uh, we are using optimized hyperparameters. So this function will automatically choose the hyperparameters that gives the best accuracy. And uh, at the end, we are plotting the training progress. We can see how the model is fitting its data points. You can see the algorithm 
has started fitting the data points and here is our uh, function evolution on the right side you have to wait a bit The training is complete. Now we have to test uh, the model accuracy. So, with the remaining 20% of the test data that is uh, separated earlier, we'll use this to classify. Uh, sorry, we'll use this to evaluate the model's performance. Uh, for this, we are using the predict function. Here, the first parameter is our trained model, and the second parameter is our uh, test data. So after the prediction, we will get results and after that we will compare the results with our test levels and we will sum all of those and divide it with the length of the uh, test classes. This will give us the accuracy and get it in percentage, we are multiplying it with 100 uh, and now we are printing the accuracy. So we run this, we get test accuracy equals to 100 percent so this was the process for training a uh, support vector machine on MATLAB for binary classification problems uh, i'll soon upload a video for multi-class classification problems also thank you for watching